Hello everybody. All right, so I've got the finished product. Um, I'm going to start off showing a quick demo. Uh, I've got it just into the main input right now. I will eventually jump her to bolt, but I'm going to switch first back and forth between the tremolo and whatnot to get the basic low level clean volume. Right now I'm only up about halfway up. I've got the top cut down pretty much not cutting anything. I am on the um, bright uh, switch engaged now and then I'll play it without the bright switch. But this is a single coil. By the way, this is a new guitar I've got that's pretty cool. It's got uh, tappable humbuckers so I can go between a, hum a single coil humbucker or then a single coil P90 so it's got quite a few range of tones here. But uh, alright, so let's give that a sound just to let you hear what that sounds like. That's what the clean channel sounds like. Single coil, let's go to humbucker. And then let's try the P90. So as you can hear, that sounds nice and clean. So I'm going to turn the, uh, the bright off now. And this gets a bit fatter sounding. I'm going to go back to the single coil. A lot, a very little low end and a whole lot of kind of that fatter sound. Uh, to me it sounds a little too tubby, but... Okay, let's go to humbucker. Single coil again. So it's brightening up a little bit there, but I pretty much prefer it myself with that uh, switch on. Alright, so the next thing we want to listen to is going to be the tremolo. So I'm going to turn this down, switch to the tremolo input, and we'll hear that. What I'll do first is turn the, the tremolo level really low. Now, I still am noticing there's a bit of a hum in this, and it's a lot quieter. I'm already out of tune on this again, but... Alright, so um, now we're going to turn up and let you listen to a little bit of tremolo. So this is at max tremolo um, level. So this is at the slowest tremolo setting. So of course, you probably would want it more blended, but... And it's got... I have the ability to turn the speed up. And then if I pull this... Oh, actually, the pull-up is even slower, if I remember. Yeah, so let's, if I pull this up, it's actually even slower. So if I turn it all the way down, this is actually the slowest now. And uh, then there's a switch here that changes the effect. I'm going to turn, oh, actually, I turned the wrong one. That turned me down to where it's almost off, so... Subtly. Now if I switch this, this switch switches it from the vibrato to tremolo, which is not really, there's not really a vibrato, it's just a different kind of tremolo, but here that goes. So quite a bit faster. So now what I'm going to do, 
is I'm gonna jumper these two channels together. Um, and I find this sounds pretty cool if you kind of can join the two together. I could even, I can basically turn the tremolo uh, uh, level down to zero. Turn both of them up quite a bit. sounds quite clean. I, again, I'm going to probably have to try and figure out, I'm getting a little bit of hum out of the tremolo side only. Uh, so I have to take a little bit of time to look at that at some point, but I've got the great sounding tremolos I want. Now, when I'm blending them, I pretty much need to turn the tremolo all the way up to blend it between the two. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it up to a lot higher volume, so we're going to have to take a cut for a minute because I've got to readjust the mic so I don't blast it out at max volume. So I want to get you guys a chance to hear it at max volume, and then we'll go from there. Okay, now I'm at max volume, and this is going to sound nice and crunchy. So I, I, I dig it, but I can't play it this loud too often because the 30 water really has some thumps. So. So you dig in a little bit, it really lights up. So at any rate, that's the demo. I don't want to go too much longer, but you get the feel. It's a pretty, pretty nice sounding. One thing I will notice, or I will say I've noticed, is that EF86 definitely has some weird ringing and uh, kind of crazy noises occasionally. What I'm thinking of doing is getting one of two things, either getting a couple of silicone rings around it, or I might get a kind of bushing underneath it as well to kind of help take vibrations out. But uh, she's definitely starting to really charm me with how it sounds. I, I love this amp and uh, I think I'll uh, possibly be in, in the mood to make an AC-15 at some point just because this is really freaking loud. So anyway, thanks everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video series. If you have, please support me on Patreon, like this video, subscribe, and it'll make me be, or it'll give me the chance to make more of these videos because I'm really having a lot of fun doing them and it seems like, you know, I'm getting a lot of good feedback that you guys are liking it. Please tell me what else you think I should be doing, other ideas for me, I'd appreciate them. Thanks, everybody have a great day. Bye.